Well, one of the main ways that governments have responded to the large number of arrivals has been with funding. And they have been looking for partners that can help them to reach these immigrant populations, particularly those most in need, those who are continuously on the move. And so NGOs have seen that there are new opportunities for them to implement a lot of the policies and services uh, that they've been asking for. Now, we've seen that there are lots of opportunities in the traditional spaces, like working together on integration. And definitely in Europe, we've seen more work together with government on resettlement and community sponsorship, and even on difficult issues like return, where NGOs still want to make sure that immigrants are returned under humane and safe conditions and only to uh, safe countries of origin. But even beyond that, uh, we've seen that NGOs have now found a lot of new allies in local authorities across Europe that would like to develop more services and also would like to fight against some of the politicization at national level by making sure that there are firewalls and secure services uh, at the local level. We've even seen uh, NGOs becoming more active outside of Europe in third countries to make sure uh, that people on their way to Europe or who have been returned from Europe are uh, living in safety and dignity. Uh, so not only offering services there, sometimes where governments are are not willing to go, uh, but also reporting back and providing vital information for decision makers um, about the potential consequences of their policies. So there have been a lot of opportunities uh, for NGOs to partner with government at local level in and outside of Europe. Um, of course, there are still many policies and services that are not being delivered, but the huge refugee welcome energy that we've seen across Europe has also enabled a number of NGOs to create their own services through individual donations, for example, which quantifies actually the uh, public opinion support for uh, immigration. And if not from donors, then they also have them from foundations who've become more and more active uh, on immigration issues. So NGOs, even when they can't uh, find partnership with government, can turn to the public through donations or turn to some foundations in order to implement their own independent services.